Well boys, time for another review for another portable power station. This one is a thousand watts. It's pretty heavy. 28.79 pounds to be exact. Let's open it up and see what size battery it has and put it to the test. The manual. This is the model PYS-PEG-ED1000. Pure sine wave output on the 120 volt section at 60 hertz. Power output is 1000 watts, 3.2 volt, 6000 milliamp hour, LIFE P04 with a 1075 watt hour battery. Has two cigarette lighter outputs at 10 amps. Has a USB 2.0 5 volt 2.4 amp, a USB QC 3.0 and a PD 100 watt USB-C out. Charging time is six to seven hours with supplied power supply. Which is 29.4 volts at six amp. You can use a solar panel 36 volt 100 to 400 watts. LED light is three watts. Length is 15.2 inches. Width is 9.13 inches. And height is 12.64 inches. The weight is 28 point 79 pounds. Hey Gizmo. I know you're waiting for the box, aren't you? There you go. Is it all you expected it to be? This does have some weight to it. So we'll get it charged up. In this box is the power supply. 29.4 volts, 6 amp output, 176.4 watts. And in this box, we have a car charger awesome when they include that with the package and the 110 volt wall charger it does have the common solar connector there nice big display screen 212 volt 10 amp cigarette lighter output two other 12 volt 10 amp outputs and three USBs and two standard USA receptacle outputs at 1000 watts says 1.8 hours to full charge a few moments later fully charged so let's check the voltage output on this on the AC side 120.3 that's important a lot of these only put out 110 to 115 volts it's much better to start at 120 because you have voltage drops as you hook up equipment Let's see what the sine wave looks like on this. That's pretty good. 59.80. And that's a nice clean sine wave. Now let's check out our 12 volt section. See what that's putting out. 12.73 volts. That's good. So to turn it on, hold the power button. You can see the lights lit up. And turn the AC on and turn the DC on. Plug in my little compressor style refrigerator here. See how much that draws. There it goes. 39 watts, 40 watts. So it'll run this compressor style refrigerator that I have for 27 hours, actually more. It'll run a compressor for 27 hours, of course, when a refrigerator shuts back off. It's not drawing any power. And that's pretty impressive. With a 1,075 watt-hour battery and a 1,000 watt output, it should technically run close to an hour using a 1,000 watts. Of course, there's internal inefficiencies that would drop that number to be exact. So I have this cheap little Harbor Freight compressor. It says it's 2.6 amps. Let's try it. Plug the fridge in at the same time. There it goes. They're both running. 215 watts. It'll go 4.8 hours. Yeah, 
Yeah, we still got 98% of the battery left. Let's see what else we can throw at this. This four horse compressor, as you can see, will draw 15 amps. Let's see. I don't think it will. Well, I guess we'll see how the overcurrent protection is too. Nope. Too much, kind of figured. That's 15 amps. Probably peaks 25 amps on startup. Oh, just had a little fan kick on. Must have felt that extra current trying to start that. So three peak horsepower. Let's see if this will run it. it says it'll run in an hour. Running out of things to try. I know it won't run that welder or that plasma cutter. Or this pressure washer. This draws like 13 and a half amps. Pretty impressive to have over a thousand amp hour battery with a thousand watt unit. That's a good match. If the battery matches the output, and this is pure sine wave as compared to a modified or a square wave, it's good for sensitive electronic equipment. So let's plug my 65 inch TV into this power unit and see how it does. It's up to about 177 now. Put a movie on. Well, still sticking at about 178, 177. So it'll run at 5.6 hours. That's pretty good. So as long as you can keep your internet going with this and plug your TV in and you can stream movies while the power's out. Let's see if I run my microwave. Put a cup of water in there. Never run a microwave empty. I think this is a 1200 watt microwave. Most microwaves are 1200 watts nowadays. Thousand. Oh, it's actually running it. Thousand sixty two. Oh, it did it. It was only for 30 seconds. Just enough to get that pretty hot. Well, that was impressive. How about a toaster? That's 775 watts. Of course, as the elements heat up, it'll typically drop. Yeah. So you make a lot of toast, 1.2 hours of toast making. What's up, kitty? I don't think it'll run this percolator. These things draw more than a toaster, I believe. Oh, look at that. That'll actually run a percolator. Coffee pot. I'm pretty amazed because as you can see most of the stuff in the kitchen is going to be near a thousand watts so if you want to buy one of these portable power units you got to size them appropriately I personally wouldn't buy anything less than a thousand watts nowadays and of course the bigger the battery the more time you'll get running all your stuff so yeah it'll run that coffee pot for an hour with a full charge battery got the fans kicking up on it now so you can use this unit while it's being charged by solar or this. Just don't forget the charger plugs into the wall out is 176.4 watts. So if you use more than that out of this, it's going to take the rest of it out of the battery. So it's showing it's charging 171 watts. It'll be fully charged in 0.7 hours. So anything you plug in it more than 172 watts or whatever this is charging at at the moment will take from the battery. So if it's 182 watts you're pulling out of this, it's going to take 10 watts from the battery. Let's check the DC section. Oh, that's the AC section that's cooling off. Yeah, so we'll let that AC section cool off a little bit while we're doing the USB test. First is your standard 5 volt 2.4 amp. 
standard charge. Then we have our fast charge, QC style, USB-A, 18 watts. Now our PD-100 watt, of course that's USB-C. Oh, fast charge. So it's fast charge, not super fast charge, but it is a 100 watt output. So it definitely does what it claims. I didn't see what the peak watts were, but judging by that shop vac, it has to be at least 12, 1300 for that to start. It's probably close to 1500 watts peak. I didn't see any specs for peak wattage in here. That fan's still blowing. So yeah, if you want one of these units, I'll have the link down below in the description with any kind of discounts that they give me. You know I'm a tech junkie. If you love tech, new tech, old tech, portable power supplies, e-bikes, jump packs, motorcycles, I even did my garage. If you're a tech junkie like me, click that subscribe button. Thanks a lot. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.